Right, hooty hoo dee there, BB Pen and Guess. Welcome to, of course, everyone's favourite Sunday, bloody awful Sunday, which tends to give you blood bowl. It must be so bizarre, it's indeed bloody awful. And yes, yeah, so as we can tell, they are starting the wrap up leading into the playoffs for season 23. Let's get down to the field here. We'll take a look at match number one, shall we? done the coin, flipped the coin, and kept, of course, the coin here. Here we go. One of the more notable matchups we've been expecting to have this week here. Of course, this is now the match week technically three. It's the last week of the little mini divisions they divide into, and it decides who actually qualifies correctly if they haven't already earned the buy, and who actually qualifies for the wild card playoffs to go against those who have absolutely dominated their divisions. Like I said, Bloody Awful is rather interesting how they decide who qualifies immediately the first round and who has to end up going into what is almost the repechage to try and qualify. And it makes it for a very interesting bit of drama, doesn't it? Because some teams you think would have no chance of making, who do you indeed, uh, do actually indeed, you know, dramatically make it all the way to the end there. So let's take a look here. The infamous, yeah, the right up there with Party Pollos' crew there. Final Fantasy, the Amazons, three re-rails, Gary, and look how many people are cheering. Everybody's cheering. Must be free calendar day. Meanwhile, as you can see, Squig, there's no rock, no get the ref. Sid is satiated for a change. But take a look at the Woggables have got. Two bribes, a wizard, four re-rails, that and a bag of crisps. They are ready to commit enormous amount of violence against these ladies. And you are here, front row seat, the witness. This is going to be bloody. Well, at least that's what everyone else is saying. So you're all ready to witness. Yes, you. Yeah, yeah, you right there. Witness it. Yep, yeah, witness. There we go. Well, immediately. Holy dooly. There's the cancellation. Yep, there it was. Cancellation of the rock there. Sid, nope. Sid's not going to throw any rocks today. He's too busy munching an old squig sandwich. Triple layer. But that's okay. We're going to start getting here. I'm moving already. Yeah, they're moving already. First hit, first casualty of the day there. That was absolutely delightful there. And yes, the game indeed is on. It is indeed on. Amazon's quick little look here. Well, they have three reserves. Those ladies are going to be coming out point and quick here. As you can see here, the Orcs basically went and decided to get themselves. Bomber Driver Snot, of course. And Orgruff, that is the Orc Chainsaw. Reminder, that is the Orc Chainsaw. Again... Blood Bowl 2 never, ever fixed the proxy figures. They never fixed them. They always used the proxy figures. And that's always been a running complaint. One of these days, people have asked that they do unleash and open the code to allow people to fix this. Because there are some talented coders out there. And I, I, look, face it, this is how Blood Bowl 2 was designed in the first place. Well, nice throw, unfortunately, right into her grubby hands. And there we go. There goes the grenade right back. And he's got it again. Yep. It's time to throw it back. There we go. Beautiful shot. Look at me, Flash Boss. Yep, you saw that, didn't you? That is minus one agility. They have to go in apothecary that. Oh, they are in shock. Utterly in shock. The hearts are pounding. There went one of the absolute stars of the team, and she is gone. And you saw that. Thrown grenade, inaccurate. Gold intercepted, thrown back to the goblin. Goblin intercepted it and threw it right back. Right in between. Perfect launch. Good god, don't juggle hand grenades. Amazon's down. Two fucking players. They haven't even had their first turn, which they're finally having now. 
Oh, they're already in trouble, lads. They're already in trouble. Amazon's this is going to be another one of those tough games testing just how good a coach he really is. Don't get me wrong. He's quite phenomenal. This is why he ends up in the broadcast a lot. Because we like to see Amazon's done right. And good golly, Miss Molly, these Amazons perform with or without the pole. All right, ladies, I've got a nice good casual screen here. They've moved on in here. Work, work. But so far, you know, they've got a lot of work ahead of them this game to survive. Orcs go charging in here. Well, push me, fuck you, but Fen does drive him into the waning hands of the rest of the Orc firm. Who merely roll a double skull after we roll that one there to keep the drive going. There's the punch, nothing going. Give me some slugs. I'll go it back in. And the Orcs there start curling the corner here. Now, do you foul this? The answer, of course, is yes. You do absolutely foul this. How is this even a debate here? Look, you've got plenty of players. And the Amazons are already down two players. And yes, you got it. That apothecary is burned. You absolutely foul every fucking turn. <laughs> And there's the KO right there. There is the KO. That is another good solid removal here. Absolutely a great and solid removal there. That was some brilliant coaching. Amazon's really not too sure. But, you know, as they said, bring it on. We're still going to beat you. Well, at least that's what they say. Meanwhile, Bomber once again intercepted for the second time. And she fumbles it right in her own waiting hands. Takes her own players down. And there's the KO. Woohoo! That's great work, that is. Yep, you saw that. Roll to one, and unless you're a passer, you do not get to re-roll that one. People forget that. So, yep, he doesn't get to spend a re-roll on his end there because it's not his fucking turn. So, yeah, beautifully done. The Bomber has done a fan-fucking-tastic job this game. Bomber, the legend, the calamity... The howitzer. Well, no, wait, that's actually Morag. Anyway, what we call him? The catapult. All right, well, I'll call him that. That's fair. The catapult's having a great game. A KO and an injury. And he's burned the apothecary out. He's having a dynamite day. Big block and Ogoth takes him down. There's the pylon. <laughs> the three buckets. All right, we can actually call it that. The trebuchet. Trebuchet. Uh, trebuchet. Yeah, that's basically what it is. That's what it means. Three buckets. That's how the design works. Well, the Amazons now are desperate to change up the nature of the game. They do get it stunned on the pylon, but that is far. Remember, this is Ugoth. He is AV9. So you still need to roll A7 to crack that fucking armor. I think they almost forgot that, but I don't blame the Amazon coach at all. You need to get rid of that chainsaw. That chainsaw can foul you all day. Speaking of... Sure, we'll take it. But when do we get to shoot something? Uh, any time now, lad. Any fucking time. Meanwhile, Orcs cruising for a touchdown right now here. They're in no hurry. They've gotten themselves, and you're counting it right there. Four solid removals. Two injuries, two KOs. They're having a great game. And now, moving along. You're fouling with AG4. Well, oh, he's got two bribes. He might as well. I want the teeth. Don't touch the teeth. Yeah, well, not touching the teeth. He's touching something else. Fails the dodge. There's the KO. Run and shoot. Shoot and run. Yep, you saw that. Yep, you saw that. He fails the dodge. Fails the dodge. Reroll. The Amazons are delighted so much for Bomber. Bomber, you did a great job. The trebuchet. But turn three and he tries to dodge away. Ah! Down he goes on a one and nine. Yep, one and nine fail. Typical of him, isn't it? Does a great job, then tries to do a basic dodge. No! Yep, one and nine. Here we go. The pro. Push me. Fuck you. Amazon's desperately trying to rescue the situation here. Hell, they're just trying to rescue the team. Let's be more candid here. They're already down to seven players on the field. And there's the skull. Rerolls that. Gets the block. Does manage to stay surviving. Meanwhile, over here, there's the doll. Holy dooly. I got a question for you there. No, seriously, I got a question for you there. She moves six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, go, go. Why are we not going after the ball carrier? She's having a basic line woman. 
And your point would be. And your point absolutely would be. It's still a 1 in 3. The hit succeeds. Oh, well. Your choice. Oh, no. I I just consider that a question mark. Failed the 1 in 9 dodge anyway, though. But I, I would put a question mark in that. Let's put a pin in that, shall we? Look. Manchester United would have tried that, okay? Manchester City would have whined and complained. Liverpool would be doing this. But I, I get it. I just don't quite agree with it, but you're already down four players, so... It is a column A, column B here. Conservation of, you know, the boobies. That's always been important in any league. Meanwhile, solid tack right here. It's the pal! There's a takedown right there. Gets a lovely little chain push. Ahoo! He's got the best shooters there is. Feels that way, indeed. Feels that way. Well, the troll's stupid again. He really hasn't done much here. And now here we go, Chainsaw, back in business here. Where are you going, little twinkle tit? Yeah, you're gonna foul? Yes, you are! Woohoo! Oh, you gonna pay for that? And there's the injury! Yes, one, another one is gone. It's only a badly hurt, but yes, once again, yet another injury there. The game indeed is truly on here. What are the Amazons gonna do? Oh, come on, Ad, what are we calling that one for? Oh, it's because it's my wife's birthday? All right, fair cop. Absolutely fair cop. All right, I can understand that one. I'd call that too. All right, Amazon's turn four. Yep, you're reading that right. Four. Amazon's, as you can see, they're out five players. Double skull going after the chainsaw. Gets it on the repechage. There's the hit. And, of course, there is the KO. Yes, Orgroff. He's put the chainsaw right into his own fucking neck. And I think he's actually gone and hurt himself. Yes, indeed. He actually has kind of hurt himself there. Bit of torment there for the Amazon coach. But you know what? It's all that Amazon training. The power of Whoppita. All right. We've turned this one around here just to see how bad this is going here. The remaining Amazons. KO. No. Holy dooly. Luckily, you didn't KO yourself on that. Not from lack of trying. Woohoo! Whoppy, whoppy, whoppy. Yeah, everyone needs that gif, don't they, there? Oh, that's my sister. Meanwhile, here we go. Charging it. Two dice. Push me. Fuck you. Well, I'll tell you. Get on that one there. Right now, at this point here, if you orcs, do you score now or do you wait a while? You've got reserves. You've only got one bribe left here. And yeah, of course, the if the wrestling channel. All right, well, the orcs, they, they're just going to buy time. I'm moving already. They are indeed moving. Meanwhile, over there, block on block, the surviving Amazons doing what they can to stay in this game. Power of fend, power of push there. Meanwhile, more orcs moving along here. So they're going to put a bit more pressure in. Whack! No! Fuck. All right, no joy there. How about the troll? Troll! No. <laughs> Rock, let's get out of here. That troll's been fucking useless so far this game. Look, the problem is the bomb and the chainsaw have been dynamite. And now they're both off the pitch. Is that the extent of the orc offense? Well, they're offensive, but you just lost your two best weapons. They've been doing a fucking great job. Look at the results in the dugout. Ah, oh, that's a pretty sight. All on their backs. No, you can park your bike there if you try it hard enough. Easy. <laughs> And there! Surprise, motherfucker. All right, now I'd start observing by this point here. The Amazons are not having a good day when it comes to dodging. There's no tackle here, yet they keep failing fundamental dodges, just like Bomber did earlier. They keep rolling a 1 in 9 fail. So the Orcs can stall it further, and that is exactly what they're going to do. Charges it. There's the power of the block. Block on block. More arcs. Warring back here. Walling in Wallington. Meanwhile, over the top. Makes the park. Well, they're going to make life as tough for the Amazons as possible. Troll finally pushes something. You can tell the exhaustion on that one there. It's like, ah. <laughs> All the work's already been done here. All right, me, what the sword swing and a miss, swing and a block, nothing going on there. Welcome to turn five. Give me some slugs. I'm going back in. Where? 
Now, there's the Pro. Of course, the Amazons, as you can see, are trying to turn this game around. Big solid hit. Doesn't pile on. Which, considering the dirty player is basically gone here, aka the chainsaw, I'm not too sure why you're not doing the pile on. You do need removals to even these numbers up. And now, the power of. Oh! Would you like to try it again there, lady? Alright, she's going to try it again. She does finally make it on the reroll, goes charging out, and has managed to mark the ball carrier. So, it's a start. Finally, a basic dodge made by the Amazons. First fucking one all game. Alright, welcome to turn seven here. Yeah, that's basically it. Whack! <laughs> that's all the Orcs end up doing. Whack! <laughs> Trying to make something work here. Meanwhile, charges over there. Yeah, it's push me. Fuck you. Oi, let's go. Well, it does make the fend here. Now, the orcs, do they want to try and make sure everything's contained? Or are they going to have to score now on turn seven? Stand firm. Well, I think they have to score. Not that they have much choice, but there we are. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, well, Ed's doing his work, apparently, there, but thank you very much. Cheers, indeed. Here we go, indeed. Mm. Ah, I've been waiting for that all day. Woohoo! All right, so, Orcs do finally score. That was, let's be honest, a horrific first part of the half there. As you can see, the Amazons, three casualties... They've burned their apothecary out already, and they got one KO. So the ladies are down to 10 players. Fortunately, people do discuss about the caliber of the coach there, making all the difference. We will see if the Amazons can definitely make things stand up. Meanwhile, as you can see there, both ejections have actually kicked in, so so much for that idea. And meanwhile, yep, you still got one bribe left. He still has a couple of players left over here. So the Orcs, why are we benching the Black Orc? He's got Black! Why are you benching him? Uh, no, seriously, that would be my honest question. Why the fuck are you benching him for? Okay. Fine, bench the troll, and meanwhile, let's get back to the most exciting event you could possibly get in Blood Bowl. <coughs> or not, as the case may be. There we go, solid kick, and the Amazons are on their way. They need to get back on this board here, gents. They need to get back on the board. And they are aiming to please, indeed there. Yep, ribbed for your pleasure, apparently. I mean, well, there we go, solid it. And there she goes, charging through, no problem. Turning the corner. Moves next to one square there, and then decides, you know what, fuck it all, let's go all the way. That's what she said last night, hubba hubba. All right, turns the corner. Amazon, so they've got all kinds of options here. You can see, one, two, three, four, five. They can score this, but they have to actually receive the ball. And notice they've got no rerolls left here, so Iron Man is in charge. Push me, push you here. The power of Whoppity compels you, doesn't it? Meanwhile, push me, fuck you, that's still not working there. Amazons, well, right now the most critical point is they've got to get on the board. They really do have to just get on the board here. Now the tricky part. Step one, handle your balls. She does that delightfully. All that time she's worked in the brothel for her college education has worked great. Hell yeah! All right, and there she goes, full speed ahead, trying to go for the score. Run, bitch! Run! And there it is, the lightning bolt. Whack! <laughs> Ball goes screaming free. There's the pro on the reception. She misses completely, and there it goes, bouncing away. Oh my god, who the hell Cares. However, the Amazon does survive the lightning bolt, so power to her somewhat. <laughs> that was electrifying, wasn't it? Yeah, that's actually one of the more effective whistles we've seen in this entire week. We've only seen, what, one work? The rest of all fizzled. 
That's the first lightning bolt all week we've seen work. Wow. All right, meanwhile, Orcs just doing the business here. Now, they do need to recover the ball just to prevent the score here because the Amazons clearly are going to make a run for it. They're certainly going to try. And the Orcs right now, well, it's not perfect, but we'll have to do. There we go. Solid hit, and we got him. I knew today was going to be special. Oh, I hope it is special there. Oh, I hope it is special for you. Happy birthday there to the troll. All right. Orcs running back here. Step one, cover your balls. That's absolutely important and vital in any game, let alone this sport. AG4 never fails, except for now. I'm going to get me that shooter of yours. Like I said, AG4 never fails. Got it, boss. Fuck. Oh, well, that makes the hearts beat there, because the Amazons are not out of this one. Amazons might still actually score this. They just have to do it very quickly. Whoopsie! Yeah, that summed it up there, lad. That summed it up right there. There we go. Solid hit. Gets the follow-up. There's the pylon. Get over here! Got him! Woohoo! Yes, the lady definitely did the job. All that practice and training does indeed pay off at the Amazon school of pounding it and pounding it and pounding it. And that is a clear removal. He's not skilled, but who cares? That's an AGD crease. I sense someone's getting fired in the morning. Amazon's charging. Remember, they got no rerolls at this point. None. So every other play they take here is a bit of greed. Amazon charging. There she goes. Easily peasy. He's got the ball. There's the score. They're on the board. Tied up. One apiece. All right, so we are tied up at one apiece here this halftime. Excuse me, ladies, get off the board. This halftime, of course, brought to you by Maelstrom Gaming Mats there. Now the official supply and provider of Blood Bell Turfs for the Chaos Cup this year. Maelstrom Gaming Mats, give them a check. The best custom Blood Bell pitches you can get. And he's a proud support and sponsor of the channel. Yes, indeed, he is. You've all been wondering why I've got that nice little bit spa down there. There actually are goals for this season. If you make the 100%, I have to answer the challenge. I have to actually answer the challenge. If you make 200%, we create a draw. And of course, by the draw in there, we actually get you one of the nice little products. Either get the ref t-shirt, got hat, ref hat. You guys get to pick what product you actually want. And we'll send it out to you. If we make it times 300, though, total... It's a custom Blood Bell mat. Yes, indeed. Speaking of, free reroll there to the Amazons. Holy dooly! Well, they kind of need it. That was one hell of a weird half there. All right, let's get it started in here. Well, the ladies have got everyone back here. So we're back to 11 on 11. And the Black Hawk finally has gotten on the line. The Gobbo, of course, uh, he's keeping score. Fails the pro, and let's get moving on here. Amazons, that was a terrific little piling on there. Big block. <laughs> yeah, that's the troll. And the troll makes the regeneration. He will get back up there. But oh my god, let's hear it for the whoppity. Ladies, you bring it home. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. That troll went out with a smile on his face. Ah, oh, there's the Steiner seal of trash can approval on that one. <laughs> All right, charging forward here. Amazon's deploying quick and easy here. They do see an opportunity to go for an early score. Is that the right uh, right decision? It's column A, column B. It does put things more in your control at this point here. You're never that fond of trolls. Well, apparently she's very fond of trolls there, especially the little face rubbing thing. Anyway. He nearly died of suffocation, I hear. All right, Amazon's redeploying here. Yeah, they've, they've got a lot of options, so uh, they're doing quite well here. Work, work. Yeah, work, work indeed. Orcs. Well, now we're tied at one apiece here. So now the Orcs, the pressure's on them to A, prevent the score. B, they would like to get one of them done. Touchdown thing. So you can't exactly be conservative screaming here. It's not like you're defending a lead. The game indeed is tied. 
So it's how you want to deal with the initiative here. Well, how about a fisting? Lots and lots of fistings. And that will work just nicely there. Moves on in here. Orcs, would you foul? Yes, you're 100% still foul every turn. You still have technically numbers. Because remember, this is Amazon's. And you've, you know, how much? Well, there you go, right there. The boys are all gonna die. Run! Uh, uh, why are we running? I don't know. Well, there we go. Solid KO. Once again, another line woman taking it off the pitch, off the reservation there. The fans are just saying the game indeed is solidly on here. Well done. Unfortunately, Ed would like to call that one. Well, he'd like to. But like I said, it's his wife's birthday this weekend. So, yeah, he's definitely collecting gifts. So, that's fine. That's fine indeed here. Amazons. Don't have to worry about bribes anymore. All two of them are gone. Pro failure right there. Amazons. They've got... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, let's try this again here. Hasta la vista, baby. I know, he's collecting for something, all right. He certainly is there. All right. The power of pain compels you there. power of whoopity compels many. And meanwhile, Amazon's decision tree, decision tree. Now, this is actually a bit of a decision tree there. You know, where do you want to go? Well, the end zone, of course, but how you want to get there... Probably not the right side, likely the left, but still your Amazons, you do want to keep your options open. Just like your legs on a Friday night, as my sister would say. Hey, it pays the bills. Meanwhile, Amazons plowing down the road here. There she goes, full speed ahead. She figures she's got it. Run, bitch! Run! Meanwhile, over there, there's the rescue! Yay! Yeah, and definitely she is going to find a way to get out of that mess. Good golly, Miss Molly here. All right, Orcs, can they contain this? The answer is probably yes, but how they do it is why we're all watching the broadcast here. We will see the violence inherent in the system. There we go. Nice punch. You almost hit me, Shooter. You get. Yeah, you get indeed there. Miss next game. That is a huge removal. And I got to admit there, the fans, yeah, game's definitely on here. The Amazons might win this game. Good Golly, it's starting to cost them dear. That is a lot of from decreases to miss next games. Means by the time they get to the next round there, he's going to be short a few players there. That might not be healthy for the Amazons. Look at that cunning here. Makes the dodge. Meanwhile, Orcs do see an opportunity if they play it right. Stand firm. All right, they haven't played it right. So much for that fucking idea. We is the shootiest. Yeah, we're also the punchiest. Well, so far the Amazons, they're not enjoying the uh, fondness and uh, non-reciprocation they're getting here. Like, all they've got's the one. The trial regenerated. Block on block here by the Orcs. Amazon, of course, charging forward here. Amazons probably would like to score in the next two turns here. They really don't want to stall this any longer here. If they can help it. They'd love to be able to help it if they could here, but this is becoming quite the violent game. Another big takedown right there. There's the power of Blitz. The power of takedown. The power of pummeling it and pummeling it and pummeling it. Don't worry, AV9 is fine. Makes the dodge easy peasy, Alfie squeezy. And now let's see how the Amazons want to play this one. One die over here. Easily gets the block, gets the takedown. And now last one for Joy. Makes the dodge. No problem. And everything all is looking nice and donkey. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Yeah, that's what the audience is saying. All right, Orcs can't attack. Big punch down right there. Bang, there goes another one. <laughs> Red ones go faster. Well, if you mean by fistings, yep, definitely. The fistings seem to be going rather fast and furious at this point here. Game indeed is on. We're running out of Amazons again. However, this has become a recurring theme, this game. And the problem is, even though they've got the down players, it hasn't really converted into a dominance here. It's just made it a tougher fight every time. There we go. Power of block on block here. Orcs trying to figure out, is there a way to stop the lady here? Remember, she does have blodge. And as you'll see with the Orcs, there is an attack along this team here. They're having to do it the old-fashioned way. With the butt cheeks. Definitely. Clenching butt cheeks. Push me. Fuck you. Yeah, that's not working. And so far, nothing else going on here. Orcs, well, they've done the best they can. They're going to they're gonna basically try and force the Amazons to likely score this turn. 
I wouldn't exactly call that a success. Oh dear. Not again. Oh no, what did you hit him with there? Is something, you know, slipping in the package? I don't know. There's the power of pro. No, one in nine, still not getting anywhere there, Twinkle Tits. All right, well, the Amazons should be an easy score at this point here. There she goes, no problem. And the Amazons are up two to one. Amazon supporters. They really know how to show on a party here. Alright, well, Orcs, this isn't a disaster, but for the Amazons, well, they're down three players now. They had three reserves. Keyword is added. You can see the damage that has been wrought on this firm here. Four injuries. Two KOs. As you can see here by the injuries, it has been a brutal day. At least one of them is a missed next game. Other ones, well, they fortunately didn't break their fucking neck here. So the Amazons have to hold hard and hold strong. Well, they got to hold on to something hard, anyway. So, oh no! Unfortunately, the Amazons didn't set to take advantage of it. They all decided to hide like a bunch of cowards. I get it. Because you've taken so much damage here, the problem is you need to still have a team left to go on into the playoffs, so the Amazons are really stuck. Like, yes, they hate setting up like this. If they still had at least two or three of these players, absolutely they would have set up forward and taken advantage of that. Instead, they're in no position to take advantage of that, unfortunately, so it kind of makes you grind your teeth a little bit going, yes, it's a cowardly move, but it's an understandable move by the coach, if you follow me, because he needs his team for the playoffs, and let's be honest, He's running out of Amazons. And these are skilled, very skilled ladies. You can read the bathroom wall if you want to know exactly that diverse skull. The boys are all gonna die! Run! And you can hear what the orcs have been saying. They've been getting pounded too. They're not too happy about this. Well, is there gonna be a foul every turn? Oh, probably. There probably is gonna be a foul every turn. Orcs moving forward here. Still have to go and police up the ball. AG4 never fails. Except for dodging. Easy peasy, having squeezy, he's got the calico moving up here, and now here comes your favorite delightful lad, the one you've been cheering for all day, runs forward, and it's time to foul. <laughs> this is what we like best. It is indeed what we like best, it is only a stun, unfortunately. And the Amazons turn 13, run away. Why wouldn't they at this point? Why wouldn't they? I, I, I'm, like I said, honestly, I don't blame the coach for running away. It has become such a bizarre, tilted situation. Running away is the sensible move at this point. Again, needs to have a team to play the playoffs. And there's the fail. No! No! The horror! The horror! Well, now the Orcs just need to march down the field. They've got four turns. This should be easy, right? That's been famous last words on this channel, but this time, no. Uh, I've got pretty good confidence. We've seen this chap before, and he does play a very good, very consistent, solid game. And he puts the ball carry in the thick of it all. Oh, that's taking a chance, isn't it? And the Orcs, as you can see, the triple screen. Yes, it's like a triple bypass. Proves your golf game, clearly. Orcs still moving up here. Make sure everything's all nice and covered. It's time for the foul then, right? Yep, time for fouling. I love the sound of me shooter, don't you? Still just a stun. Ed still booking the last one, so hasn't written that one out there. Of course, I think Ed's hoping he gets his calendar signed. He's a little eager. Maybe you should pay attention to the game there, Ed. And the Amazons, well... You're seeing what they're doing now, don't you? They, they, they really are just running away. The Amazons figure they're the Irish. They've got their two, and that's it. They're done. Really? 
This doesn't win your championships, lad. This doesn't win your championships. However, having a team does. So... <laughs> it's hard to be mad at this, considering how bizarro this is gone. Why do we re-roll that? Because I can? Okay. It needs to be about 20% cooler. It's because he doesn't have block? Who cares? What's the point? Ah, I got re-rolls. Okay, fine. It's hard to argue that. It's very hard to argue that. Speaking of, there he goes, moving along there. Mine's shootier than yours. Has been all day, apparently. Meanwhile, Trell finally doing something useful there. He's holding the ego. Holding the cobbler. Holding the laces on the calico, yeah, as we speak. It's been falling apart for weeks, so I've been telling you there. I keep telling Yarek he's got to replace his balls. Anyway, moving along. Orcs going along. Oh, you all want to be here saying, no balls, please. You won't get me saying that on this channel. Moving along here. Orcs, oh, come on, foul. Fat, what the fuck are you doing? You can't leave these ladies here. What the hell? What's wrong with you, mate? What the fuck's wrong with you? You're supposed to foul. Foul early, foul often. It's like voting in Detroit, dead or alive. Fuck. Give me some slugs. I'm going back in. Well, now they're just going to run away. What the fuck was that about? Why are you letting them get away? You fool. You know, late in the playoffs, this might come back to haunt you. The fact you let them get up and run away. You really shouldn't be doing and there that. There was much rejoicing. Hey! Welcome aboard there. Welcome aboard there. There's much rejoicing there. That's just, you know, this is match number one here from Bloody Awful Sunday. I'll have match number two to you very shortly after this one here. Amazons, of course, casually moving along, doing their best job as we speak here. And they're doing a decent job here, but as we said, they need to keep a team for the playoffs. So, this is their hell thinking. The Orcs just slam that one in there. There's the score. We're tied up two apiece. Orcs, 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 Orcs. Well, here they go to infinity, all right, and beyond. Well, the Amazons now have a chance. Now, remember, throw a rock, get the ref negated. Wouldn't it be a bad time for a riot? Nope, it's a high kick. He gets lucky there. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. Oh, it's definitely a pleasure the company here. It's because, let's face it, Blood Bell isn't the same without hooligan commentary. It's not the same. It really isn't. All right, solid hit. Solid takedown right there. Meanwhile, Orcs, a bit more pummeling in the front there. Good solid fisting. Oh, dear. Got him! <laughs> Stop cheering. It's only a KO. That doesn't fucking count there. But like we said, Amazon training, absolutely deadly, isn't it? It's absolutely fucking dead. Oh, they're going after the troll again. It's like his first you know, injury didn't count. Well, it did and he did regenerate. Well, let's do it again. <laughs> Why not? You see, this Amazon coach understands the fundamentals. <laughs> Keep on fucking hitting him. <laughs> You can hit him till he's dead, and if he regenerates, we'll kill him again. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how Patton did it. That's how everyone else does it. That's how fucking Millwall does it. Speaking of, here we go. Up the field here. Oh, we can't even cheese pleasing, sir. Yes, indeed. There we go. Cheese pleasing. Oh, God. Time for a true display of skill. Would you like to try that again, Marigold? There she goes. She got it on the second try. There we go. She's not as experienced for the brothel handling balls. There we go. There's the foul. Did we get him the- no, no, no. All right, well now the Orcs, it's payback time. Right, solid fistings all around there. You get a fisting, you get a fisting, you get a fisting, you get a fucking fisting. Everyone's gonna get fucking fistings all around. Fist them to death, that's what I'd say. All right, here we go, solid it, solid takedown. Now can we actually break AV7? Now? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Give me some slugs. I'm going back in. Oh, here comes AG4, because why not? He's going to foul. First here, then there. 
Make up your mind already. I think he has made up his mind there. Well, at least it's a KO there. That is indeed a removal. That's what we wanted to see. But, you know what? Game on. It's a little late there. Where was this earlier? You, you, you had turns to do this. You had several turns to do this. Oh, well. Well, that's game number one for today here. And we got ourselves a tie score there. Two to two here. Amazon, I've got nothing wrong. You played a solid game when the Orcs definitely came to town and meant business here. As for the Orcs, I don't know why you took your foot off the gas pedal near the end. You had him, and you could have done a lot more damage to this Amazon firm because there's every chance you're going to face this Amazon firm in the playoffs. So why not do more damage? No? All right, on your own head it be then. You know, that, that was your choice, and it's a really weird choice. If anything, you just saved a lot of frustration for your opponent there. Well, that's match number one there. We are going to be back here with match number two. I've got a chug of beer, and then we'll be back very shortly. So stay tuned. Nuffle, bless your dice.